Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for August 15th through the 31st. So, this is going to be for the sign of Taurus. Uh, for basically the second half of August. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Taurus for the second half of August? What do we got for Taurus? Just breathe. Just breathe. Take a break. This is the Four of Swords. So perhaps you just need to take a break. You need to go within. You need to take a minute to work on yourself. Maybe that's what you're doing. You're just, you know, taking a time out. Let's get one of these. Healing. Maybe you're going through a period of healing. You know, healing your body, mind, and spirit. All right. Maybe you're just focusing on yourself. I mean, that's what that looks like to me. It's the Four of Swords. Isolating yourself. You know, working on your health. Indecision. Which way to go? What should I do next? So there's, there, you, you may be in a period of indecision. You don't know what you want. You probably have multiple opportunities and you need time to figure out which is the best path to take. So, end of August... We have somebody here that is taking a minute to breathe and consider their options. You know, where do I want to go next? What do I want to do? Which path is best for me? Taurus. One card for Taurus. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So yeah, this is this is a the end of August, I think, is a time of rejuvenating your soul, right? So, let's get started with these cards. You probably have to decide where you're going, you know, what's up next, what, what you want in your life, what you don't want in your life, what, what demons and stuff that you need to push down, what you need to get rid of, what you want to hold on to. Taurus. Oh, I had one flip. That's not. Yeah, I did. Oh, it's you. Aha. Taurus. Going within. Okay, that's what we got here. <laughs> I thought one flipped. Maybe you need to get grounded. Maybe you need to get grounded again. You need to reground yourself. Um working on your spiritual self, mind, body, and soul, right? You're going within. I feel as though uh, maybe you're working on your, your faith, you know, you're, you're working on your, um, religion, you know, um, this is your intuition, your inner guide, uh, letting it speak to you, using it as a tool. Um, you may be seeking knowledge. You may be seeking knowledge from several other people or from your higher power or even from within to, you know, guide you in the right direction. But it feels that this is a card of believing in yourself and going your own way. Okay, listening to your inner guide. So that's what you're doing. You're following your own path. And I believe that you're probably listening to what you're hearing. You may not be prepared to get in any sort of commitment right now. You're working on yourself. Yeah, it's, yeah, okay. Loss of emotional contentment or just not looking for love. You may not be looking for love right now. Mm. Knight of Swords reversed. In no hurry. 
in no hurry for love. You're in no hurry. I think it's because you're working on yourself. It's like you don't, you're not prepared. You're not ready. You're not ready to get yourself into any kind of commitment because it's all about you right now. Yeah, you're, we have somebody here that is emotionally unavailable. I'm just not, I'm just not ready for love. Avoiding the challenge. Avoiding the challenge of getting yourself involved with another person. It's, yeah, I mean, I see that exactly. So, I just don't want that challenge in my life right now. You know, I feel like your gut is really speaking to you. I think that you are really listening to it. I feel as though you are going through some sort of spiritual awakening right now. You're waking up from, from something. This is awakening. Okay, and I see the spiritual part of it. I feel as though you're just, you're not wanting to um, rush into any kind of commitment. The Four of Wands reverse is an unexpected commitment, perhaps. Somebody may proposition you. You may have somebody come in, you know, that wants to take you out on a date or they, they want to, you know, you give them a chance, but you're just like, eh, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't really... I don't know. I'm in no hurry. I'm in no hurry at all. Um, I feel like you, you probably don't trust and maybe you're working on that. You're working on trusting. This is lack of trust. You know, I feel like you, you are regaining confidence. I think that you are definitely being recognized, Taurus. People are recognizing you or you are being respected. And I feel like you have somebody here that you are probably going to run into somewhere that is going to... Um, and get, invite you. They're going to invite you to do something. And you may be like, nah, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm just not, not ready. Okay, somebody wants you to give them a chance by the looks of things. You could be dealing with a lot, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with, we have Scorpio again. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Taurus. You could be dealing with another Taurus as well. You could be... Um, just really not able to trust at this time. You may not be able to trust. You may feel like, you know, you're, you're just not ready. I know that I'm repeating myself, but I feel like you may turn down an offer because you're working on yourself. Um, mm, look at that. Came flying right out and landed right there. The five of swords. This is feeling defeated. You know, you may be feeling defeated. You may you may feel like you can't trust anybody. You probably have dealt with somebody that um, brought you to your knees. Somebody that really, really hurt you. And I feel like there's definitely some, there's a lack of, of trust. And you need to have faith. You need to have faith in that whatever happened with whoever it is that you were with, that was their issue. That was their issue. They had ego problems. They had, um, struggles. They had their own power struggles and they were, you know, they had, <laughs> they had the need to control. They had the, they had to control because they were, they were, um, betrayed in the past. I feel like what you were dealing with somebody that really had to prove themselves when they were throughout their lives. They had to prove themselves to get attention. And so now they have caught, they brought that on to you and they caused you to shut down. They caused you to shut down. It's like they stole your energy. The challenge is opening your heart. This is in your challenge position. So I feel like you are cha you you you're not afraid. You're not a you are afraid. You're afraid to give your heart away because of whoever you have dealt with in the past. You're feeling defeated. You felt you feel defeated like you can't trust anybody. I feel as though you are very very extremely worried about being treated like that again. You know, you don't want to be treated like that again. Extremely, extremely worried about being, you know, controlled. About being, you know, hurt again. 
So anyway, I feel as though you are, you are, this right here is in your approach position, your power, you know. You have an opportunity for a new life. This is a resurrection to live again, to be happy. You know, um, to, this is a renewal to re, and that's what you're going through. You're going through a spiritual renewal, and I think you're avoiding any opportunity for love because you're working on yourself. And I think you have somebody here that wants you to give them a chance, but you're like, no, no, I'm I'm working on myself. I'm going through a, a rebirth right now, and I don't want to get hurt again. So the best thing for me to do is to not engage. You know, not engage in any type of um, romance or whatever so um august end of august externally you're definitely avoiding challenge you're definitely avoiding it you don't want to you don't want to deal with any challenges it's like you're avoiding getting it going out you may not want to go out you may not want to go anywhere you may just want to isolate yourself like this is the four of swords right here this is a feeling of incomplete um a feeling of emptiness there's unfinished business that perhaps you are still healing from, right? Um, somebody may be wanting to come back or you may be thinking about going back. Somebody may be wanting to come. This is thinking about going back or thinking about leaving or... You may be you may thinking about what's the pain that somebody has caused you, you know, and you haven't found the closure that you need, and that's why you are avoiding any kind of love relationship. Um, you could be dealing with an untrustworthy individual that is coming into your life. That could certainly be the case. This would probably be around the, you know, nineteenth, twentieth. Um, you may, you may have 19th, 20th, you may have somebody that, you know, you do have a deep bond with that there's unfinished business that you, you know, are thinking about. You could be thinking about them and, and the love that was lost, or they could be thinking about you and thinking about going back to that. Those are right now, I think it's just thoughts, but this is untrustworthy individual right here. Reunion. You could be, um... This is a reunion, perhaps. Relationship, friendship, happiness. Third party situation. Thinking about it. Focusing on the loss. Focusing. So I think around the 19th, 20th, you are really thinking about a loss. You're grieving. You're sad. I'm sorry I'm being honest with you. I think that there's a lack of closure and you may be not realizing that you have another opportunity. You probably do have an opportunity for love here that you're not seeing. You're very, it's like we have somebody here that is focused on a past relationship that was involved with a third party situation and I feel like you're dealing with an untrustworthy individual who really really hurt you and has closed you off emotionally so I think that you you really need to release this is a card of release your approach is to release release this release this this person that broke you because you have another opportunity here. And I think we have somebody who wants you to give them a chance. But you're still holding on. You're still holding on to those past hurts. That's what I see. Somebody wants to... You may receive a message from somebody that you met online. Um, could be a friend of a friend. One of your friends. You know, that's just a friend. Um, you need to make a decision and that's why the ind ind that's why indecision is here. You're going to be needing to make a decision. You might be get invited to go out with your friends. You may get invited to go out with your friends or you may get invited to go out on a date for somebody and now you got to make a decision. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Somebody wants you to give them a chance. So I think that you will be invited, but you definitely don't trust. Um, there's that four of swords reversed. <laughs> So this is, you know, feeling very, very isolating, isolated, wanting to isolate yourself, um, not really wanting to open up, um, exhausted, you know, feeling frustrated with uh, 
the lack of closure that you have on the on the previous hurt that you have been through. I feel like you really need to expect the unexpected here because we have these fives, five, 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 five. You're five, five, five. You're going through a major life change right now, and this is and you need to make um, positive choices for yourself. Think positive. Don't let the past person who um, hurt you um, hold you back because it's time for you to live again. It's time for you to live again. Somebody could definitely wants you to give them a chance. I'm not sure if this is the person that broke you or not, but somebody wants you to give them a chance. And I think that you will have an opportunity to make a decision. Do you want to give this person a chance or not? Um, there's probably a deep bond or there could be a deep bond. There could be, um, a new union. Somebody probably, um, is very attracted to you. There's a deep attraction here. Um, there's an opportunity for, you know, two people to come together that could really see eye to eye. This could be your match. There's definitely attraction, and I think that you will be attracted to this person as well. So I think that we have an opportunity for two people to, you know, strengthen a bond if you will allow it, if you can have faith, if you can trust, if you can not let the past betrayals keep your heart closed. You need to open your heart, think positive. You know, somebody wants you to give them the ch a chance. I think that this person... Um, is noble the person that wants you to give them a chance this person is noble this person um, is confident this person is very passionate and this person can probably help you if you let them I think this person um, can help you to wake up you know they can help you to feel alive again if you allow them into your life I feel like this person is either a Gemini Libra Aquarius could be a Scorpio could be another Taurus I think that you need to open your heart and give this person a chance whether you do or not it's up to you. You will probably receive some sort of invite to go have some drinks. And you're going to think about it, whether you go or not. I would go because it could lead to, you know, a deep connection. That's my advice. Good luck.